which working actors today that we see a lot of do you think exemplify what this current norm is of this new man? Oh, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, you know, if you look, if you look at, I mean, you know, if you know the the top A actors, right. if you look, look at Leonardo DiCaprio, mm -hmm. uh, he exemplifies a feeling individual, someone who definitely has very strong feelings mm -hmm. and is um, definitely directed. There's direction in where he's going, but at the same time there's a softness and there's a, there's a being in touch with his own feelings, you see, and there's a boyishness mm -hmm. that has never gone away, I believe. Uh, so the, he definitely exemplifies that. Uh, he chooses roles, I believe, right now that are that are that are more complex in the past few years. Um, but in general, you will see that there's there's a tendency towards towards um, being aware of what is happening, being more connected to his feelings. Um, that's one type of that's one type of uh, young actor. Sure, and you can see that in Inception and Shutter Island. Exactly, you can where definitely... Where he is a leading man, but he does have this... He's a more sensitive, um, thoughtful, vulnerable... Vulnerable person. Yeah. And then you have, um, 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 if you look at The the Kids Are All Right, mm -hmm. this wonderful film that just came Fabulous, out. Yeah. Uh, you see John C. Riley, which he's not the, the, the general of, of idea of... Uh, of a leading man, Mark, Ruf Mark Ruffalo, and Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. That's both of them. Yeah, both of them. Mark Ruffalo, he knows he wants a restaurant, but yeah, mm -hmm. he's very, very uh, complicated and in touch with his feelings. Right. And and even though even though he really um, is very um, directed in his life, he's very clear about where he's going. Mm -hmm. Yet he, you know he you know he's he knows he's uh, he's not perfect. And and uh, and he messes up, and the same thing with uh, John C. Riley. Mm -hmm. Definitely, you see someone lost, mm -hmm. someone who's um, who's confused, someone who um, is very conflicted and is willing to admit it. And so we, you know, we fall for these characters, and uh, a lot of men identify mm -hmm. with these two kinds of. Um, actors. Yeah, to say we fall for them is interesting because that's not typically what we do with the leading man. You know, we don't usually <laughs> we don't usually sympathize for him the same way we would a leading woman, wouldn't you say? But now they are evoking that kind of um, compassion, compassion out of an audience. And the, and they're allowing their femininity, you know, their their passivity to right. come out without it being a joke. Right. No, well, uh, uh, both of these films that I'm mentioning mm -hmm. um uh what is it, Cyrus and, uh, and uh, Kids Are yeah. Right, are comedies, mm -hmm. you see. But, um, but definitely, there is a, definitely a sensitivity. But if you also, if you go into the, all the vampire films mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you look at the young men that are vampires, right. they're not just vampires the way the, you know, the, the Bella Lugosi was, which mm -hmm. was a right. vampire that was dominant and was into... Um, the vampires today are... Actually, they want to. They're, they're not really at ease with them uh, themselves being vampires, you know. And and they have uh, very strong mm -hmm. sensitivities. Kind of an identity crisis. <laughs> yes. So mm -hmm. it reflects. It reflects very much in mm -hmm. terms of um, what's happening in the culture. Right. And so uh, women, as much as I'm sure, also men, but mm -hmm. definitely women are attracted to this. Um, men that are um, very youthful, very beautiful, mm -hmm. and but also uh, in touch with our feelings and being able to communicate. Communication is a very important part mm -hmm. of this. I think people really need to communicate um, uh, at, a, at a higher level, mm -hmm. more than ever. It's interesting that you said women are attracted to this because would you, I don't know how many years ago, but women used to be attracted to the Cary Grants or 
you know, the Marlon the Jimmy Brandos, Stewart, yes, the Jimmy yeah. Stewart. So the James Dean. Is there are there still women who want that kind of leading man, or has that gone away? No, I think we all want that. Okay. <laughs> I think I think there's uh, I think the it's become very imbalanced. Okay. That I think that there is still that man that is mm -hmm. running around. Uh, a good example would be John Hamm. Mm -hmm. uh, he is definitely a very manly, very uh, kind of a manipulating kind of mm -hmm. man. And that I'm sure that women as well as men are um, fascinated by him. And um, he, he's a very powerful mm -hmm. and strong uh, character. There's an allure to him. There's an allure, and I think the, the uh, characters like this must continue, uh, otherwise it gets so imbalanced that film becomes um, not, there's not enough variety, it's all always the same character.